Do you remember what the Lord revealed to the obedient people of God that was recently declared to all that have ears to hear and eyes that see last May in this video? Seeing that some of us are students of prophecy in this final movement of God's people, it was revealed decades ago that Revelation 18.23 was letting us know that the Vatican was going to use drugs in a global manner so as to confuse, cripple, and even kill many people so as to prevent present truth reaching their ears, eyes, and hearts. Not only was the Vatican outed as the one fulfilling this prophecy when it was discovered that Big Pharma and Rome are actual partners in crime back in June of 2012, the Lord helped us to see how the drug-laden chemtrails were the brainchild of the Vatican back in 1985 when Al Gore and Pope John Paul II got together to start their global warming fakery. And to add insult to injury, the Vatican went so far as to mint a coin with an actual plane spraying chemtrails over the entire world on it so as to boast to the politicians, the CEOs, and the church leaders how no one on the planet can stop them, even after they tell all of them they're the ones doing it. For more info on this, check out this video and then this video when you get time. Now, what we knew, thanks to the Lord's promise regarding opening up the prophecies onto his obedient people so as to make current events much clearer, as they pertain to the last days, we knew the Pope was behind the pandemic all along, as that video of last May confirmed. That being said, they are once again boasting and even openly embracing the sorceries of the drug industry in a way that confirms they truly were the ones that spearheaded all this exactly as prophecy said they would. Check this out. The pressure of universal injection with a biological agent still under probation is unprecedented. Equally remarkable is the papal embrace of vaccine politics and its network of commercial partners and global governments. Propelled by COVID, the military-industrial complex of 60 years ago has its parallel in the medical-industrial complex, and the Vatican approves. In January, Pope Francis suggested we are morally obligated to take an experimental coronavirus vaccine. Not to take it was suicidal denialism and an offense against love of neighbor. A needle in every arm is the only decent thing. Addressing the World Bank and International Monetary Fund on April 4th, he advocated global governance to ensure a justly financed vaccine solidarity. It was a good day for the stakeholders in the global market for the newly patented vaccines. In brief, the series represents a surprising alliance of the Vatican with venture capital. Well, actually, there's no surprise here, but I would suggest reading the rest of the article when you get time. But to answer the question as to why the Pope is helping to lock down this vaccine agenda globally to the point that three presidents that refused to obey the Pope's vaccine push were all assassinated within one year. This is happening because his dying God demands this get done for when the claim to vaccinate all is prophetically switched to all keeping Sunday holy to stop climate change. In fact, as my last video proved, They've already started that narrative, further confirming that Christian prophecy is that accurate. It's no mistake, the World Bank is now working with the Pope, as well as the fact that all those bowing to the Pope, who literally invented the pandemic just as prophecy said he would, all those CEOs, 501c3 religious leaders, and politicians have literally heaped treasure together for the last days as prophesied, in James chapter 5, verse 3. All I could say to these pawns of the man of sin in Rome that have bowed to the Pope's command is that the insane prophets you're making in this long prophesied agenda against all of mankind is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Thank you for watching. God bless.